Hi, in this video we're looking at networks and we're also looking at the degree of a vertex. The degree of a vertex is the number of edges that are connected to it. So we have a diagram here, A, B, C, D, E, and the degree of A, and that's how we write it, deg A, the degree of the vertex A, uh, is the number of edges uh, that are connected to it and we can see that A has one, two, three edges connected to it so we will indicate that the degree for A is three. Degree for B it also has three edges connected to it so the degree for B is three. Degree for C is a little more I think one, two, three, four edges connected to it, so it has a degree of four for C, and for D it has a degree of four, and E only has two edges connected to it, so we would say the vertex E has a degree of two. And another aspect of a degree is that it, it can be deemed to be odd or even, just uh, just according to the number of um, edges connected to it. So degree A, which has three edges, degree of A is 3 and it's an, uh, 3 is an odd number so we just go by the whether the, the number of the degree is odd or even in those cases so deg B um, is odd, deg C for vertex C is even, got even for vertex D and odd, sorry, even for uh, degree uh, for vertex E. So uh, degrees can be, or vertices can be considered to have even or odd degrees. Another slightly tricky bit is uh, a loop. It starts and ends at the same vertex. So we've got a vertex here. It's got um, one edge going through it and another edge from the left going through it. And um, it's got a loop that uh, goes through that vertex as well. Now that loop, it counts as one edge all the way around the, uh, the loop. But we've got to be careful with the degree how that uh, affects the degree of the vertex. The loop actually adds two to the degree of the vertex. We have one edge here, another edge here, and it's almost like we count one part of the loop as uh, being an edge and the return part as being another edge that's meeting at that vertex of that vertex. So um, we say that that degree of that vertex, before we finish here, <laughs> we'd say that that vertex has a degree of 4. One for the straight line, one for the other edge, and one f for each of the two edges of the um, two parts of the um, of the loop. So that's just a little slight uh, technicality on a loop there. It adds 2 to the um, degree of the vertex. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.